Hey, good morning, Facebook family and friends. This is Pastor Willie Chester wishing everybody everywhere a good and godly morning. Coming to you from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina this morning. Enjoying the sunrise here at, at the beach. And I just wanted to share a word with you this morning for our word and worship this morning. And it is coming from Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19. And um, it's listed as a, a hymn of faith, <clears throat> a song of faith. And the word of God says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, here it is, verse 18, it says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord of God is my strength. He will make my feet like the deer's feet, and he will make me a walk on my high heels. Good morning, Sister Clementine. Good morning, everybody else that will watch this morning. <clears throat> this morning, saints, this word here um, <clears throat> is, a, like I said, a hymn of faith. And if you look at Habakkuk 1, 2, and 3, the children of Israel are facing a tough time. They're impending war and impending captivity. All of that is going on. But the prophet Habakkuk had a message for the people from God, through God. And as he looked back, he said, y'all, he said, there's some tough times ahead. There's some things that will happen, and there's some things that will go on. He says, but y'all, you know what? We need to, on purpose, on purpose, praise the Lord. So, so this morning, just for a few minutes, praise on purpose. Praise on purpose. And so, y'all, the context, again, is the children of Israel are facing a tough, tough time ahead. And they know this. They see this. They know that the day of trouble is approaching. And, and when you and I can see a day of trouble, we can see the trouble coming. We sometimes may get discouraged or, or, or back down or, or, or challenge our faith. But y'all, you know what? We need to prepare. We need to prepare even before we see the day of trouble coming. So that was that was that was Habakkuk's idea here. He says, "Y'all, though, though the things that we need, the things that we see, the cattle, the fruit, the 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 things that we're used to, even though they may fail, even though our health may fail, even though our finances may fail." Even though we may be put in a situation where things have rapidly changed. Good morning, Dick and Kevin. We're talking about Habakkuk 3:17 through 19 this morning. And so Habakkuk looks and he says, Y'all, even though all of these things that we're used to, all of these things that, that we know and we love and we count on, and the people we count on, even if they're all destroyed, he says, Y'all know what we need to do? We need to make up in our minds, make up in our hearts that we're going to praise God anyway. We're going to praise God on purpose. And he, he says when we do it, we need to give God our full attention, our full praise. And here the prophet looks back over all the things that God had done. He starts to count them out. He says, y'all, God delivered us one time. He delivered us two times. He delivered us three times. And that brought me to the sense of mind to know that, y'all, when we're going through, when we're going through, if we'll just look back over what God did for us last time, if we'll just look back how he brought us through before, then we'll have a sense We'll have a sense of what we need to do next. And the first thing that Habakkuk says that we need to do is praise God on purpose. He says in verse, eight, verse 18, yet will I praise him. Even though all of these things will happen, all of these things may take place. He says, yet I'm making up in my mind that I'm going to praise him. I am going to rejoice. And the Hebrew word here, y'all, get this now. The Hebrew word here is to release a praise over and over and over again. The Hebrew word is to release joy 
over and over and over again. Good morning, Brother John. We're looking at and we're, we're, we're talking about he, Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19. And Habakkuk takes the frame of mind and, and he does something interesting, y'all, here. He doesn't say that, well, I'm just going to preach this. I'm just going to teach this. He says, no, no, no. We need to sing this. When we come into worship, we need to sing this. So he commissioned, he commissioned this hymn of hymn of praise, this hymn of faith. He commissioned it for all the musicians. He says, y'all, we need to learn this. We need to get this in our spirits, in our hearts, y'all. Sometimes it's not just enough to talk about the Lord. Sometimes it's not enough just to get you some good scriptures. But then, y'all, that brings to mind that we got to live it out, y'all. We got to let folks know. We got to be willing to bring it into the church house and praise God for all the things that he's done. Even when things look bad, we got to be willing to go and tell somebody, y'all hang in there. We need to encourage each other. And that was his point. When we encourage each other, that even though as a nation, we're going through some stuff, even though as a church family, we're going through stuff. We need to make it personal enough that we can praise almighty God. And the praise here, the joy here, he says, God is my strength. So he he borrows some language from the Psalms and he says, God is our strength. Psalm 18, Psalms 118. They, they tell us that we need to praise God. Why? Because he is our strength. So no matter what we're going through, we can lean, depend, and rely on God. Can I get a couple of hallelujahs here? Can I get a couple of amens, y'all, that sometimes we have to, as children of God, look back over what God has done for us and praise God on purpose. So here the psalmist he, he, he and the prophet, he turns into a psalmist, but sometimes you got to sing that thing out. Sometimes you got to praise it out. Sometimes you got to pray it out. Even before you know what the answer is going to be. Oh, that's some big boy talk right there. I'm just about done, y'all. But I just wanted to encourage your heart today that if you're going through something, to adopt the mindset of Habakkuk. Habakkuk said, come on, y'all. He said, we're going through some stuff. He said, come on, y'all. We've been through some stuff. Come on, y'all. We got the same God that was there before. Is the same God that is here right now. And we need to praise God on purpose. No matter what it seems like, what it feels like, what, what we know is going to happen. They knew that the enemy was at the doorstep. They knew they could see. They could see the, the, the tents. They could see all the things that were about to happen. But they made up in their minds, we're going to praise God anyway. We're going to praise him on purpose. God didn't remove this thing from them because they had some previous sins. But while they were going through, they were able to get through it with praise. Can I encourage somebody's heart today? That when you're facing something, when you see something even on the horizon, God may not remove that thing from you. But if we adopt a posture of praise, if we adopt the mindset to praise God on purpose, then y'all, we can get through it. Because sometimes, I don't know about y'all, but that's all I've had. Sometimes that's, that's all I had was what was the word of God and a praise on my lips. And thanking God anyway. Thanking God and projecting that God is going to take care of me. Projecting that God will do it for me. Why? Why, Pastor? Because he's done it for me before. So therefore I can go ahead and start praising him on purpose. Praising him anyhow. Praising him anyway. Praising him even though I can't see it right now. Even though I can't feel it right now. That I'm going to release my faith in God. And praise God on purpose. So y'all that's the word for this morning. And um <laughs> And I'm so glad celebrating my birthday weekend this weekend. So glad for all of the kind thoughts and sentiments that were passed my way. Love y'all. And I just wanted to encourage you this morning to hang in there. Hang on. Even when you can't see it. Habakkuk said the remedy is to get a word from God and to go ahead and praise God on purpose. Amen. Y'all, I want to want to end with prayer here this morning. It's beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning, and I know that there's some people watching and and looking, and will watch and will look. That you're going through something, 
and you and you may be stuck in your faith. You may be a little low on encouragement. I just want to encourage your hearts this morning. Let's go to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this opportunity, this chance to praise you even early in the morning. Lord, we're out in your elements, enjoying your nature, enjoying what you have set forth for us today. But sometimes, Lord, the storm clouds do rise. Sometimes, Father God, we can see the enemy at the gate. Lord, help us to adopt the posture of Habakkuk and praise you on purpose. Praise you because you brought us through before. Praise you because we know that you are the God of our salvation. That you are a healer. You are a deliverer many times over. And that as children of God, when we trust in you, you promise that you will come through. So Lord, we, we ask you right now to help us to have a yet praise in our hearts. That no matter what the situation or circumstances look like or dictate or feel like, that we will yet praise you in the midst of what we go through. And in finding that, that the shackles will be, will be, will be torn off, that the bonds will be loosened, even though we have to go through. So, Lord, I pray for everyone that will watch and listen today, those that are facing grief Right now, those that are facing bereavement, those that are facing financial troubles, those that are facing family issues, that you will help them to praise you in the midst of what they're going through. And that their praise will be like a song singing to, to you. And then to know that you will come through. So Lord, we thank you right now. We bless you. We glory you, we honor you, we lift up our sick and our affirmed. Somebody even last night went to the ER, Lord, we lift them up in prayer to you. Somebody got a call last night about a loved one who has gone on to glory. Lord, we pray peace for them as well, Lord. So we're asking right now that you would intervene in, in all of our situations and circumstances and <clears throat> we would praise you anyway. So Lord, we love you. We thank you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I see you, Clementine. That's right. Hallelujah. Gladys, good morning. Good morning, Brother Kevin. Good to see y'all this morning. Love y'all. And I just want to want again express all of my thanks and gratitude for all those who wished me a happy birthday. And again, just a little encouragement to praise God on purpose. Amen, y'all. Amen and amen. I'm about to go and get me a little more beach time in before we have to leave. But again, we, we thank you all. And we'll see everybody real, real, real soon. God bless you. Amen, amen, and amen.